But art is a fusion of East meets West, New meets Old, Street meets Pop art. I think in art, just like all other things, is 10% talent and 90% hard work and determination. I think when I decided to become a full-time artist, I just quit my job and gave it all safety nets. I didn't really think about how to sell my art. I didn't really think about, you know, the future or it's just following what you really believed in. I became an artist because I felt like it was my calling. I took a year off to create a new body of work. During this one whole year, I didn't have any income. It wasn't so much about success or failure that drove me. It's actually listening to my inner voice and not listening to what society, friends or family wants me to do. The rock bottom for me was not knowing what the future will lie because you gave up everything to focus on something which might not bear any fruit. When you hit that, the only way is up. Passion is a key driving force, but the vehicle of success comes in the form of determination. My art really defines what I am as a person. I feel like I'm in a crosshair of the East and the West. Growing up in Singapore, you're exposed to a lot of different cultures. You're exposed to like Western comic culture, Japanese manga culture, Chinese comic. So in my art, I try to marry Eastern concepts in a pop art Western style. It's through this fusion that you create a spark. Breaking traditions is always something very difficult to overcome because of the traditional mindsets of people. Pushing boundaries and doing something new is never easy. Passion to me is about going 101%, not holding anything back. I would tell the young person who wants to be an artist to really follow what your passion tells you to because no one else knows better than yourself. You are the master of your own destiny. 